It's a great honor on behalf of Homeboy Industries to receive this uh, remarkable recognition uh, from the Conrad Hilton Foundation. We are all humbled and heartened uh, by this recognition. Uh, both the Hilton Foundation and Homeboy Industries uh, wants to imagine uh, something different in the world, and so we are committed together uh, to create a community of kinship such that God, in fact, might recognize it. The poet Wallace Stevens says, uh, we live in the description of the place, but not in the place itself. And the Hilton Foundation and Homeboy Industries both, we want to hold out for the place itself. The great John Lewis says that we all live in the same house, which is the place itself. He doesn't say, well, some people live on the third floor and some are in the basement. He says, no, we all live in the same house. He doesn't say one day we might. No, he says straight out, we all live in the same house. And so together we try to imagine a circle of compassion and and then we imagine nobody standing outside that circle. Together we try to dismantle the barriers that exclude. So we stand at the margins so that they will get erased. And we stand with the poor and the powerless and the voiceless. We stand with those whose dignity has been denied and those whose burdens are more than they can bear. We stand with the easily despised and the readily left out. We stand with the demonized so that the demonizing will stop and with the disposable so that the day will come when we stop throwing people away. We want to create a community of connection and kinship where we obliterate once and for all the illusion that we are separate. We believe with Mother Teresa that the diagnosis is that the world has forgotten that we belong to each other. So the Hilton Foundation and Homeboy Industries wants to stand against forgetting that. So thousands of men and women walk through our doors at Homeboy Industries, and this place has uh, created over 300 programs in the world that are modeled on our methodology. So homies and homegirls walk through our doors barricaded behind a wall of shame and disgrace and, and we believe here that only tenderness can scale that wall. They come here with what a psychologist would call a disorganized attachment. Mom was frightening or frightened and you can't really calm yourself down if you've never been soothed. And so we create a safe place where the traumatized can feel cherished and then find their way to the joy there is in cherishing themselves and others. Uh, Jesus uh, holds out our own longing, which is that you may be one, that there is no us and them, there's just us. Here, enemies and rival gang members work side by side with each other. And I remember many years ago, um, there was a homie uh, who was 19. We all called him Youngster. And I thought he was ready to begin work. So I take him to our homeboy silkscreen factory, which has been around for like 27 years. Uh, thousands of gang members have worked there over these years. Uh, we do high quality work, reasonably priced. We UPS to your city, I'm just saying. And uh, so I bring this guy in there, uh, youngster, and I watch him shake hands with some 30 workers, and uh, half of them are easily rivals or enemies. And I'm thinking to myself, wow, that's great. And then he gets to this one guy named Puppet, and when the two of them are in each other's vicinity, they stare at their shoes, they mumble something, they don't shake hands. Well, I know they're enemies because I know what gangs they're from, but he just shook hands with a whole bunch of rivals. But I sense in the moment that this is uh, a personal beef, and I find out later that this is uh, some hatred that they can't get past. 
And so I sense that at, at, at the moment, and I say, look, you know, if you guys can't hang working with each other, let me know. I got a bunch of people who want this job, and they don't say a word. Well, six months later, a puppet leaves his home to walk to a corner store some distance from his house, and he buys something. But on his way home, for some reason, he decides to take a shortcut, and he dodges into an alley. And because he took this detour uh, suddenly, unexpectedly, he's surrounded by 10 members of a rival gang, 10 against one, and they beat him badly. And he falls to the ground, and while he's lying there, these guys just won't stop kicking his head until he's lifeless. And somebody finds his body and takes him to White Memorial Hospital, where he's declared effectively brain dead. But it's the policy there to keep him connected to machines for 48 hours so that you have two full days of a, what they call a flat read where there is no brain activity at all, and then the doctors can make uh, the official pronouncement. I was uh, in St. Louis. I was giving a talk. I flew home immediately. I've seen a lot of horrible things in my life, but nothing to compare to the sight of this young man with his head swollen many times its size. It was horrifying. You could barely train your eyes on him. And so at the end of the 48 hours, I said a blessing prayer. I anointed his forehead with oil. We disconnected, and a week later, I buried him. But in the first 24 hours, I'm alone in my office. It's 8.30 at night, and the phone rings, and it's Youngster, Puppet's co-worker from the silkscreen factory. Hey, he says. That's messed up about what happened to Puppet. And I said, yeah, it is. And then he said, with a certain kind of eagerness even, is there anything I can do? Can I give him my blood? And we both fall silent under the weight of it until finally he breaks the silence, choking back his tears. And he says with great deliberation, he was not my enemy. He was my friend. We worked together. Now, can I say that always happens at Homeboy Industries? Yes. Any exceptions? No. I can't think of a single one. And yet it shouldn't surprise us that God's own dream come true for us, that we be one, just happens to be our own deepest longing for ourselves. We all live in the same house. And so we stand against forgetting that we belong to each other. For the moment, we live in the description of the place, but we all hold out for the place itself. On behalf of Homeboy Industries, thank you very much.